Hello again. Our next lab, Lab 270, is about piping. Piping meaning fork and exec. It means um, you have your process running and you have it spawn or run another process and you might want to collect the standard out from the other process to process that standard out in the original process. What you did is you piped. To achieve this, you need to use the subprocess module. Here we are importing it. Before that, we see we are inserting on our path the labs directory. And then we are going into the Lab 260 packages directory to collect Apple Banana Total Text. So that is a Python program that finds all the numbers in some text and adds them up. And we'll call it total text in our program. So we're going to do a total PS. PS, let me show you what that is. I do PS space dash EF. Oh, and it gives a big report of all the processes that are running and lots of numbers. So we have a lot to add up. If you're on Windows to get your task list, you'll type task list at your command prompt. So however you do it, you're going to want subprocess to make it happen and then to collect the output. That's what we're going to do. So subprocess module has a popen call. The first argument into your popen call is a tuple of strings. Here it's ps and then dash ef, and these are the strings that will be given at the command line of your subprocess. So I'm going to open a subprocess. It's going to run psef, and because I give an extra argument saying standard out equals subprocess.pipe, which is just a constant in the subprocess module that flags my p open that I would like to see that standard out. It'll collect that standard out, and I'll be able to process it. You'll see. Then with my subprocess p open as now this is going to be a p open object, so it has a standard out on it. P open object dot standard out open for reading. It's just like a file object open for reading. In fact, what I will do is I will just read it. And now all that text is here. I need to make an str out of it because it's delivered in bytes. So now I have a string, and I'm going to encode it with UTF-8, which is a normal way to make that string out of bytes. And then I'm going to pump it all into my total text dot total text, and that gives me my answer. You have one little practice to do. I'll see you when you're finished.